Welcome back to the standard Keynesian definition of aggregate demand is C plus I plus G plus X minus M, where X minus M represents net exports. We're talking about exports, the declining exports in Jamaica as well as in the Caribbean. Our guest is Pamela Cook Hamilton, the executive director of the Caribbean Export Development Agency, CEDA. Pamela, you know, we spoke about the US economy. The European Union is the largest collective economic space in the world, producing 25% of global GDP, but they have been in a state of secular stagnation since 2008. Draghi is trying his best at the ECB in order to stimulate the economy, but he's been hampered by Jens Weidmann, the powerful president of Germany's Deutsche Bundesbank. EU growth targeted at 0.7% this year. How is it that the Caribbean going to get into this competitive market which is stagnating? Well, I think a com a a region or a country can be stagnating and still be actually the largest importer of, of goods. For example, Jamaica. Yes. Jamaica is the largest importer of goods from Trinidad. Yes. So, <laughs> so it's not an issue of whether we can get into the market. Very competitive market. Very competitive market. Yes. What we have to do is to see how we can strategically determine what are the best um, entry points within yes. within the U within the European Union, yes. who are, of course, our major um, providers of, of grant funding. Of grant funding. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what we are actually having, and this is a scoop for you, we will be having an EU Care Forum Business Forum in Jamaica in April, where we will be bringing European buyers into uh, Jamaica and, 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 of course, representatives from private sector across the 15 Care Forum countries to actually do a huge EU business forum and business-to-business -business, uh, right. meetings. The, the issue for us is to, as I said, determine what are the key areas. Agro-processing continues to be a huge area yes. for us. And if you link it to our brand, and this is where we need to begin to look more uh, specifically at how we sell the brand Caribbean. Yes. There are many countries who simply love the Caribbean and the Caribbean product. There's Germany. There's more so Jamaica. Yes, there's France, there's the UK and the Nordic countries have become, you know. So what we need to do is be more strategic in, in the countries that we're seeking to enter and the products that we're seeking to get into those countries. Yes. Um, we'll be working, of course, with Jampro to host that, that forum here. Okay. Um, but the, the point is, as I said, we look at some of the success stories we've had over the last three years. There's one gentleman who I want to mention who has been an incredible success in three years. Okay. He came up with an idea for West Indian teas. He's out of Trinidad, Kirana Cal. He has now produced a chai rum. Yeah. A mixture of chai tea and rum yeah. at Angostura. It is now being served on the Monaco Grand Grand Prix circuit. Okay. Hilton has asked for it. Yeah. Huge five stars in France have asked for it. The point is, if you have a plan and if you have a strategic engagement, yes. it can be done. Yes. It is that we need to begin to enter at a high level because we can't compete on both. Right. Now, Jamaica, in terms of cultural industry, music, entertainment, yes. sports, mm -hmm. as an advantage, why is it that we have not been able to maximize the benefits of this advantage? Well, I would say what, what do we need to do? Um, the whole issue of, of cultural and, and sports and you know, the in creative industries is hampered continuously by the absence of adequate data. Yes. And that is our big problem we have not been able to pull together the necessary data to underscore how we engage. Yes. You can't engage if you don't have the numbers. So one of the big issues we have to address early on is the issue of collection of the data, the statistics, that will then inform our policy. Okay. We can't just keep speaking anecdotally. Professor Vanus James mm -hmm. from Trinidad had done some yes. work on the sector. Are you familiar with this work? Yes. Yes, I am familiar. And it was it was good work, but yes. the point is, it's. Well, we haven't been able to build on that. No, we haven't been able to build on it. And and secondly, one of the things we have to look at is each country has, what I for example, Jamaica brand Jamaica is highly recognized in the area of sports, yes. more yes. so than a Caribbean brand. Right. It would be a brand Jamaica per right. se. But if you look at the area of music. We, for example, have created a platform called Soul Fusion, yes. and we have taken many of the entertainers to Europe um, on study tours and also to London during the Olympics. Okay. And many of them have actually gotten contracts. The issue, however, particularly the European market, has to do with the issue of immigration. Yes. 
In terms of the services offering within the e EPA agreement, it's perfect if you want to enter the market, but the problem is each country maintains its own immigration requirements. Yes. And yes. that is where the weakness is, particularly okay. for Jamaica. Yes. The government probably needs to negotiate with the EU, as others have done. I understand four more countries are going to be added to the waiver list. Okay. All OECS countries, Barbados, Trinidad, but Jamaica is still out. Yes. And so Jamaica probably needs to decide how we can request a waiver, particularly for our service providers in that industry, because that is the largest, the single largest industry in Europe, particularly yes. in terms of performance. Certainly. So those are the kinds of you know things that we need to begin to look at uh, to promote our creative industry. Okay. One thing that we have noticed though is that, for example, a country like Jamaica, mm -hmm. the problem is more a supply side problem yes. than a demand side problem. Jamaica has never been able to supply yes. the market where there's demand for our products. Yeah, it's not just Jamaica. Yeah, well, Caribbean <laughs> one. It's not how are we going to deal with that problem? How are we going to deal with the supply yeah. side issues? Um, I, I tell you, that bedevils us as well in Caribbean yes. export because it's not for lack of demand. Right. It's not. Yeah, it's a we get orders all the time. Precisely. The issue is yeah. we never fulfill Our sample producers. I'll give you an example. Uh, Donna Curran and Martha Stewart have come into the region to look at our, our artisanal products. Right. And they've wanted to order. Yeah. The, the major order, the major buyers for Pottery Barn, Pier 1, um, Crate and Barrel have also yes. come in. Okay. But they've said, look, you frustrate us. Yes. Because we order, we love these products, they're unique, they're beautiful, but we can't get 10. So, my, I have a grand plan, but nobody's listening to me. But anyway, I'll try it again. I've been okay. saying it for five years. <laughs> maybe, maybe somebody will listen to me now. Yeah. Um, Haiti. Yes. I believe Haiti can be what I call the China of the Caribbean. Okay. Their cost of reproduction is much, much, much lower. Okay. They are phenomenal artisans. Everybody yes. knows that. Yes. The concern for many, of course, uh, designers is that their product will be stolen. Okay. But the point is, your prototype will be stolen anyway. anyway yes. What we can arrange is to do a situation where we reproduce in Haiti. The factories are there, everything is there, the labor costs are much lower, yeah. they have the HOPE Act and HOPE Act too, yes. they're under the EVA, yes. duty-free, quota-free access for all their products okay. to the U.S. Oh, and yes, Europe. Mark. Okay. Therefore, mm -hmm. reproduce there, mm -hmm. do the prototypes in the rest of the Caribbean, mm -hmm. license those prototypes, mm -hmm. get the intellectual property so that you'll be paid for your design and okay. then reproduction of that, but reproduce there yes. so that we can sell in one at cost and two in much higher volume. Okay. That's my grand theory. Okay. <laughs> 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 We're gonna find our mates, Pamela. Tell our, to, I mean, our listeners, give us what is it that you are going to do next year and what do you expect to achieve? Okay, terms next, of carbon uh, Well, next year, if, if we look at the fact is we're closing out the 10th uh, European Development Fund, okay. uh, ramping up for the 11th for the 2016. But next year we have a couple of things on, on, the, on the radar. One, as I said, is this validation uh, session to reignite the, the um, private sector um, mm. advocacy framework, okay. probably through a Caribbean Business Council. Okay. The second issue, of course, is working on what I hope will be a, a creativity park somewhere in the region okay. uh, on innovation and putting some young kids in a creativity park okay. and allowing them to simply create. Okay. The third we're looking at is the EU Cariforum Business Forum, which I mentioned, which is going to be in Jamaica in okay. April, and we've already agreed the dates with uh, JamPro. Um, we're going to have the Export of the Year Awards, okay. uh, which is going to, of course, highlight the best exporters, the newest, the emerging ones, um, the most creative ones, and also alternative energy, okay. those who have utilized yeah. um, um, alternative energy. And of course, financial services. Uh, we have been given the mandate to work on that and we're hoping to set up a secretariat. We were able to get eight countries prevented from being blacklisted in yeah. October okay. uh, because of the work we've been able to do to, to inform the countries. So we're setting up a secretariat and then an institute for financial services along with the University of the West Indies and the Bahamas Institute for Financial Services. Okay. So that's what's on our plate. Okay. And anything else that anybody else wants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Great, Bobby and I are out of time, but I must thank you very much for joining us on Real Business on Power 106 today. Yeah, we also need to talk about Cuba, but you go ahead. I think that's going to be a phenomenal opportunity. Certainly, certainly, certainly. Thanks for joining us. All the thank best you. for the season and a prosperous new year. Same to you, Ross. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.